I'm Megan Lowe. I'm a sociology and political science undergraduate student. I'm a junior here. Um, so a wrongful conviction is when someone is convicted of something they did not do, so a crime they did not commit. Um, I organized um, all of my findings by northern, central, and southern Illinois. Um, so for example, for McLean County, um, Mansur Shakarov was convicted of manslaughter. In 2018, he was exonerated. He was driving down I-39 um, in a really snowy storm, and there was emergency vehicles parked on the side of the road. His car collided with them, and he was charged with manslaughter. And then after he served his four years on appeal, a judge determined that there was no way he could have known um, what was happening. There was, it was too snowy. He couldn't have foreseen it. And so he was given a certificate of innocence. Um, and honestly, four years is on the shorter side for the, the sentences that people served. Um, so I just wanted to bring awareness to that and show how it happens all over the state, not just in Chicago or New York. Any general conclusions you reached? Um, it's a serious issue. People see headlines, you know, Chicago, New York, um, but it happens everywhere. Um, my project, It's Happening in Your Hometown, is in the title. Um, I want people to see that it happens all over the place. It could happen to you. Um, it just depends on the circumstances and, and how it plays out for you, honestly. Is it more of an issue of negligence or corruption? Is that the um, I would say it's kind, of, it's kind of both. It depends on um, the circumstances. <laughs> The columns on both sides indicate uh, categories of reasons that you can be wrongfully convicted. Um, so sometimes, one of the biggest ones is eyewitness misidentification. Somebody thinks they saw you and it wasn't you, um, and it, that kid off is alone to convict you, um, depending on the circumstances. So that's more negligence. Um, false and coerced confession, I would say that's more of an issue of corruption. Um, so once police bring someone in as a suspect, they're trained using the read technique to get um, a confession from them regardless of whether or not they think it's true. So they can hold adults, they can, you can be lied to, they can threaten you with um, decades in prison, they could threaten you with a death penalty before we got rid of that in Illinois. Um, and so people will confess to things that they didn't do because they're being held for hours and threatened um, within an inch of their life. Um, and they'll take a 20 year plea deal versus 70 years if they were convicted, even though they know they didn't do it. Um, in 2021, we just passed a bill in Illinois prohibiting deception with kids in interrogation. Um, so you can't do that to kids anymore, but you can do it to adults. Um, and so it's kind of an example. I think that's corruption. Eyewitness is more negligence, I would say, but I really think it is a mix of both. And why is it important for you to, why do you think it was important for you to participate today in today's event? Um, this is what I'm passionate about. This is going to be my career path, um, and I want people to see the visual that it happens everywhere to raise, you know, awareness and um, inspire reform, and just let people know that it happens. Um, like I said, not just in Chicago, not just in New York. Um, so I really want people to see the visual and see that it's an issue all over the state for them, for people they know. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you.